the practical application of your work then might mean the end of such diseases as leukemia or a breakthrough in cancer or what? I wish I thought either of them were really effective in leukemia or, or cancer, though there are possible lines from the B12 research into these fields. But um, I must admit that, that my work isn't so strictly connected with the usefulness of these compounds, except insofar as additional knowledge of any of these biologically very effective substances might help us to understand processes going on in nature and so to control them. Apart from your obvious scientific qualifications, what personal qualities do you think have helped you in your work? In some ways, I suppose a certain kind of foolhardiness <laughs> going on doing things that, that, uh, that other people don't expect it is quite possible to do. How great a part would you think um, inspiration and intuition have played? It, it's, it, this is always a difficult question to answer. I, I, well, one starts, I think, with intuition and insight, and then as the processes by which we really solve these structures, which are largely physical and mathematical, are understood, insight and intuition become rather less <laughs> important. How many women have won this prize before you? Um, in chemistry, yes. uh, Marie Curie and Irene Curie. Uh, would you consider your work related in any way to theirs? Or no, it isn't really, no. Um, Marie Curie's work was concerned mainly with isolating new elements, particularly radium and polonium, and Irene Curie's with, with the effect uh, with the possibility of changing ordinary elements to more unstable elements. <laughs> you are married, I think. You have yes. children? Yes, three children. Uh, grandchildren too? Three grandchildren. How do you manage to combine your um, scientific work with your domestic life? Oh, by having a, a good deal of help with my d domestic life. Uh, we've had for very many years uh, an old friend of the family Edith mutters cooking and cleaning for us, and now that she is too old, we have others to help. You spend a lot of your time abroad as well, I think. Um, has this held you back? Well, this has been comparatively recent. Um, this has been since my husband became very much interested in African affairs, and I've only spent much of my time abroad in the last couple of years. Uh, thank you, Dr. Hodgkin. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hodgkin. Thank you. How would you explain your work to your baker or your bank manager? My work is concerned with... Uh, actually, we don't need the answers anymore this time. <laughs> How would you explain your work to your baker or your bank manager? What particular field of work do you think has won you the prize? Apart from your very evident scientific qualifications, what personal qualities have helped you in the work? How have you managed to combine such a high level of scientific attainment with a very full domestic life? That'll do, I think. <laughs>